All right, so it was day two working on the Denon. I worked on it for about an, maybe an hour yesterday, and I'm going through waiting for my soldering iron and everything to warm up. <clears throat> so I want to explain kind of my approach to it at this point. I think I, I probably mentioned it yesterday. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm taking this a segment at a time, and I'm going through and recapping, and I'm testing everything in circuit just to see if anything jumps out. Um, what I think, at least, what, what, whoops, what I think, at least kind of, I don't know, as I chew on this, the direction I think I'm going to go in is I'm going to, uh, so I, I did this section yesterday and then this little segment. I'm going to do this little segment and then this segment. I did test the, the, um, the voltage regulator and I'm getting good voltage on either side so I'm getting 13 and 5 according to the schematic that's what I should get so I, I'm right now I'm, I'm comfortable with the regulator I haven't tested anything I've only replaced like five or six caps there the strobe isn't working so I I don't know if that's um, related or not but what I'm going to do is finish the recap finish testing components in circuit just to make sure that there's not anything that just jumps out like a shorted resistor or something like that. Then I think I'm going to go through troubleshooting the strobe. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go through troubleshooting the strobe and then kind of working back from there. Um, again, I don't, when I look at the schematic, I don't know that that would be related to the speed issue but I, I'm really not familiar enough with how these work to um, kind of make that statement you know uh, that they're unrelated so I know that this isn't working so let's go and troubleshoot it and make sure um, we're getting good voltages it could be the, the LEDs but um, yeah I mean it could be something else there's, there's a resistor in here like a TR19 that I've got to find and test, but TR19 could could be the issue for the strobe. But anyway, I looked at the schematic last night. I haven't looked at it today. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. So um, if I find anything or when I find something, I will pick the video back up. Um, yeah, this is one of those projects where I'm just going to take my time on it, and uh, the second I start to get frustrated with it, if I get frustrated with it, these actually don't frustrate me too much because I knew that it was, I mean, it's broken. And, you know, there is a chance that it's a bad integrated circuit um, for the speed control. Um, you know, if that's the case, then you're at the mercy of finding another one, which, you know. Again, when I bought this, I understood the risk in, in purchasing this, and I got it at a really good price. So, um, it took me, gosh, a year and a half to fix my Sony, <laughs> you know, of just kind of picking it up, you know, now and then and farting around with it. So I have no problem doing it with this one too. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, next segment should be me with some additional information. Hopefully, hopefully I get something working. Okay. That board has been recapped. Um, interesting finding. So this is the only cap that was within tolerance. <laughs> everything everything else was more than double or I shouldn't say it everything else was at least 30% out of tolerance um, this big cap here was less than 2000 it's a 22 you know 100 microfarad a lot of these were double so like the 0.47s were around um, well almost double 0.9 and I found one open one open capacitor this is C22, and it is part of the speed detection, rotation detection circuit. So I don't know if this, you know, was the problem. I haven't tested it yet. I'm just putting it back together. But I would think that a capacitor in the rotation detection circuit, right? Well, if the, the turntable can't figure out how fast it's going, it's just going to keep going. So it's, it's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this back together. Um, I'm going to try to rewrap some of these, but that usually doesn't go very well. So I may just uh, solder these back on, but we'll see what I, we'll see what I have to do with that. So anyway, 
I'll put this back together, flip it over, we'll test it out and see what happens. Okay. The moment of truth. Let's see if uh, <laughs> any of that resolves the speed issue. So, power on. 33. Wow, so far so good. I still don't have a strobe though. Still no strobe. So I still have to figure that out, but it looks like the speed. I'm gonna get my phone and see what this, oh, now look at that, 45 took off like a bat out of hell. Hmm, interesting. So I'm going to go grab my phone and uh, I'm going to see what the speed is actually doing on this thing. Now, I haven't set it yet, but I don't think uh, any adjustment is going to address what 45 is doing. So let me grab my phone. Where do I have it out here? I don't think I brought it, brought it out here with me. So I'm going to grab my phone and see what's going on with this thing.